Good day, the YouTubes. I'm called Dave. And I just happen to have been named Jacob. Yeah, and today we're going to be answering the question that's been depressing the hell out of us for the entire 2018 so far. Why can't you buy a new graphics card? The overly simplistic answer is cryptocurrency miners stealing them all, but there's way more to it than that. <laughs> Since the start of 2017, cryptocurrencies have been going through a renaissance kick-started by the rise of the Ethereum currency. This was a virtual currency that could be mined by regular old GPUs. And the power and the efficiency of AMD's Polaris GPUs meant that by the summer of last year, they were being bought in bulk to mine Ethereum, and that led to a broader rise in the market as a whole. That meant it was mighty difficult to bag yourself an AMD 400 or 500 series GPU, but by and large, Nvidia cards, the more popular gaming GPUs, were untouched. 2017 signed off with Black Friday and holiday sales offering new graphics cards for decent prices. And that seems like a long time ago now, with 2018 kicking off and now a new GPU to be seen. Well, not one for a non-ludicrous price tag. We've seen GTX 1050 Ti cards on sale for over $500. Yeah, and who the hell is buying that stuff? And why have all the cards disappeared now? The problem is that now there is a huge demand from the cryptocurrency miners, they're not the only ones because of the current GPU drought. Yeah, of course there are the big mining companies that are going direct to the graphics card manufacturers and buying palletfuls of the things direct from the back door of the factories in China. Now they're not going to AMD and Nvidia direct, they're going to the companies that are making the cards themselves. These mining outfits are buying them in their thousands and doing it regularly, which is great for the manufacturers as they don't need to worry about warranties and can guarantee sales. There are also smaller mining outfits setting up credit with distributors around the world, giving each of them 50 grand for example and telling them to just ship the cards out the instant stock becomes available. The first to come good with the cards then gets the cash. But this demand is only part of the problem. The other big issue is that the actual manufacturing has also been drying up. There's been a serious shortage of memory in the channel, meaning it's becoming possible to meet both the demands of the mining community and the gamers. In short, there just aren't enough graphics cards being produced. This has led to a situation of such high demand and such low supply that there are third parties entering the market just to speculate on the GPU pricing. So not only do us gamers have to contend with the big miners coming in and buying direct from the factories and leaving massive standing orders with distributors and retailers, we've also got to contend with another group coming in and just putting all their money into GPUs just so they can sell them on to the highest bidders. We've spoken with industry sources who have told us that the biggest distributors in Europe are regularly seeing offers of thousands of graphics cards from third parties who are also offering them around to everybody just to see who will bite. These people are simply buying up as much GPU stock as they can to add a little extra margin on themselves before passing it on. They're essentially the graphics card's bogey middlemen. Retailers then end up with fewer and fewer graphics cards, are desperate to maintain some sort of cash flow, and so hike the prices. This means what little GPU stock does eventually find its way into the hands of retailers becomes so artificially inflated that it's barely worth it for simple gamers. So, where will it end? That's the trickiest question to answer really. We're being assured that the memory manufacturing blip is being ironed out and that production should start to normalise over the next year. AMD have said they're not limited by the number of GPUs they're supplying, but that memory is the issue. Supposedly, they are ramping up production very soon. And Nvidia? Well, they're in their quiet period, so are steadfastly refusing to comment on the in situation at all. Realistically, we'll only see some possible respite in this situation as Nvidia ramp up production of their next generation of graphics cards. But when we'll see those is anybody's guess, and is potentially tied into a dip in the volatile cryptocurrency market. That's because if the current dip continues apace, dropping the crypto market closer to early 2017 levels, then there may well be a glut of second-hand GPUs flooding the market. As supply then goes up, pricing will come down, and gamers will likely pick up cheaper second-hand cards instead of the more expensive new ones. This would hit AMD and Nvidia as they gain nothing from that market, and could prompt Nvidia to start getting their new consumer cards out into the wild. So, will graphics card pricing ever return to pre-GPU crisis levels? Unfortunately, that seems unlikely. This whole crypto mess has been disguising another issue in the graphics card and wider technology markets. So pricing is going to remain pretty high, though arguably not at the current levels, it's still going to be going up because the core components for all of our technology is getting more and more expensive. Everything needs silicon and the demand for that is regularly outstripping the supply, with prices of silicon wafers going up 20% in 2017 and expected to go up another 20% in 2018 too. The wafer manufacturers got burned in the global economic crash of the last couple of years and have steadfastly refused to boost production just in case it happens again. Production stagnates and costs rise. The same is true of the memory that's then made from the same silicon, and everyone is fighting for memory chips largely because of the massive mobile market. 
So there you have it, you can be just as depressed as we are about the future of PC hardware. Share and enjoy. And if you've enjoyed what you've seen and heard today... Enjoy might not be the best word though. Okay, yeah. But give us the old like and subscribe and check back here and on the website for more gaming and hardware goodness. Thanks for watching, we're going to go chew Prozac as if it was Pez.